Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Justin Peters. I hope that you and your family are doing well today, and I want to thank you for watching this video. This is the third installment of the devotional series that I have begun, just some short devotionals that I'll do a couple of times a week or so. And I thought today we would kind of pick up where we left off with the last one. If you watched my previous devotional video, you might remember that we talked about how in Christ, all things hold together and he upholds all things by the word of his power. And so there is a, never a time when God is not working. He is constantly working. Everything exists by the constant exertion of his power. And if God were to ever stop working, then you and I and everything in the universe would instantly vaporize. We would vanish and cease to exist. So there's never a time when God is not working. So that's what we talked about last time. I want to pick up uh, where we left off and um, start by saying this. Ever since I was a little boy, I've always had a, a real interest in space. Space has just always fascinated me. The stars, the planets, I, even as I'm talking right now, I can see in my mind's eye this this book I had as a kid that talked about the Apollo missions, and I can even see right now the the diagrams and the pictures, and I was just fascinated with the flames coming out of the engines and all that, and the orbit it made, uh, the trajectory it made to the moon, and so I've always always kind of had a, a an interest in space and astronomy. Uh, I did a little bit of research, and uh, you may have heard some of these numbers before, but you'll see where I'm going in just a minute. The mass of the Earth the mass of this planet on which you and I are now sitting is 6.6 sextillion tons. 6.6 sextillion tons. Do you know how much that is? I don't either. I don't have the slightest idea. I don't even know how many zeros that is. That, that is a meaningless number to me. As massive as the earth is, you could fit 1.3 million earths inside of our sun. 1.3 million earths inside the sun. And our sun is just an average size star. Uh, there are stars out there that are far, far larger than our sun. And these numbers are hard to quantify. We really don't have a firm grasp on these numbers. In fact, I, I talked with Dr. Jason Lyle about this just a couple weeks ago, but uh, there is a star out there named UI Scuddy. And as best we know, this is the largest star. It's not the most massive star for its mass, but in its size, as best we know, this is the largest star. And the estimates are that you could fit anywhere from 5 billion to 9 billion, with a B, suns, inside this one star called UI Scuddy. 1.3 million Earths inside the sun, and you could fit anywhere from 5 to 9 billion suns inside UI Scuddy. That the human mind cannot comprehend such numbers. And that is just one star in our Milky Way galaxy, which has at least 100 billion, some estimates up to 400 billion stars. I mean, we don't even know, we don't even have a grasp of how many stars there are in the Milky Way galaxy. There's a lot of them. Anywhere from 100 to 400 billion. Let's split the difference. Let's say 200 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy. That's just one galaxy. There are anywhere from 200 billion to some estimates up to 2 trillion galaxies in the universe. And that's just a guess. The human mind cannot comprehend the vastness of space, the, the, it, the enormity of it. it. My circuit breaker's trip. My circuit breaker's trip. Why do I say all this? I say all that to get to this point. 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 6 through 7 says this, Therefore, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you at the proper time, casting all of your anxiety upon him, for he cares for you. For he cares for you. Do you know how that phrase in the Greek literally reads? 
the best rendering of that, the most literal rendering of that phrase in the Greek for he cares for you is, is basically this. It matters to him about you. It matters to him about you. The one who spoke all of the universe into existence, this incomprehensible enormity, it matters to him about you. Whatever it is, dear one, that you are going through right now, whatever trial you may be facing, if you are in Christ, if you know Jesus as Savior and Lord, you have been born again and adopted into the family of God through the merits and the work of Christ. It matters to him about you. Selah. I hope that this has encouraged you, dear ones. Thank you very much for watching. Until our next time together, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of his Holy Spirit be with you all.